G'day! Welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 294. So guys, last flaming episode, we were building and designing, uh, what would you call it? Uh, we haven't got an official name for it yet, but it pretty much shoots villages to the surface of the ocean. That's right, we have, we are the, what, what actually happens is the minecart comes flying along the track here, and it takes, it sucks up the minecart, well the, the cactus breaks the minecart, so it sucks up the minecart, then the villager actually pops up into the ceiling here, and then triggers the pressure plate, this close, and poosh, shoot to the surface, it's bloody brilliant. We, we went with that system instead of the hundreds and hundreds of tracks that we would have had to lay going all the way back to our main base. We figured we live in an ocean, boats are the easiest way to transport them around. Hey, so we went with that. Now, I'm just sitting here hooking up our, and we better actually, uh, it's this one we need to get rid of. Actually, I need to get rid of, a, I need to fix that one up. But, um, I'm just hooking our hopper line back into our dispenser. So, the all the minecarts are now being fully recycled completely back into the system. Which I'm, I'm happy with. I'm definitely happy with. A little bit of a waste of hoppers. Uh, but hey, it's, 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 it works. Um, what, what can I do? What can I dump this there? That can place that in, that in, that in, that in. Perfect. All right, now she's hooked in, and let's hopefully nothing else gets into the system because there's no filter. So, <laughs> oh, need to put torches in here. So pretty much now, if we come back to our, our remaining villages or villager, um, and come around, no, here, yeah, perfect. It's, it's done the loop absolutely and filled the dispenser back up, and that's what I wanted at the end of the day. There's no filter in there at the uh, at the moment. Actually, there's two villages. Hello. Both years. Hello, hello. Um, all right. Okay. And we did a full test one last uh, uh, episode of the system, and she's working absolutely flawlessly. So what we need to do now is plomp this glass block back in here. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is what I want to do. I can't even put a door in here, can I? I need... What I want to do is I want to have access to this this pipe here because i want to be able to sh once i've transferred my villager that i want up there i want want to have access to the surface like emergency access so what i'm probably gonna do um, if we can is dig a, a some sort of tunnel out this way oh no we need to we, uh, can we stop the water just for a second all right stop the water for a second i want to dig a tunnel so what we'll do is make it a couple high doesn't have to be a pretty tunnel, just something that's going to hopefully connect with the rest of our farm here, our trading hall. And we'll have to find a proper entrance for it. There we go. I've hit some... Oh, what, are we, what are we hitting? What are we hitting? Aha! All right. I like it. Come in from under the stairs. Bloody brilliant. Oh, torch back there. Okay. Yep. Okay, it's one too low. That that's the only disappointing thing here. So maybe come over here. So at the end here, maybe this can be the entrance. Like we'll break in here, have a door in here. Uh, maybe one more down, just so sort of, you know, get the. Uh, is that it? Is that was it? No, that was not it. A little bit more. Perfect. Got it. Haha. Seal that up. Seal this up, and this is going to be our own access into the system, so it can shoot us to the surface as well. So we now have full access, so we break that. That's going to trigger the system, unfortunately, and stay on, and we don't want that to happen, so get that back. All right, so that's going to give us full access, and a villager cannot get out of here too. So pretty much once it's once a villager's in here, they can't get out, we can't get out either. But I'm just going to seal that back up. All right, let's throw some torches in here. I can make this look good later on. Not too worried right now. There's definitely a cleanup period there. All right, boom. All right, all sealed up. Won't even know that's there. There we go. So we got now an, a surface access point, which is which is going to be great uh, for us. And it's still no villagers. Still no baby villagers. So I was right last episode. They are completely out of surface. And that's funny because I think they had like 30 plus babies minimum before topping it back up. Oi, you. Nick off. Nick off. Yeah, I think they had 30 plus babies. Before, not Probably even more than that 
before they st before they slowed or stopped. So I'm gonna have to feed them again so they can start breeding because I want my uh, I want my farmer villages. Okay, so our next mission here is we're gonna go ahead uh, and throw some of this away. Well, not away, but just back in here. We're gonna get some glass. We're gonna grab some sandstone, and we need some gates too. Did I got gates on me? Uh, I got ladders. Ah, nine gates, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is hook up our surface. Actually, we're gonna have to get rid of that. Our surface area, real quick. So come down, fall down the hole, where the villager. All right, off I go. Woo, come on, yeehaw. All right, so there should be a villager up here. Oh, it's dark. Okay, scrap that. Hey, oh, oh, there you are. You're the, the villager that I can't click on the nitwit the fans have been telling me about. The one that just doesn't do anything. All right, so what we'll do is add a nice little tube. This won't have, well, this shouldn't affect. Oh, that would have just affected it, crikey. Let's hopefully that turns back into sauce. Um, so this should not affect our little tube. It's going to shoot us to the surface. Oh, well, us and the villagers. But we need something to catch the villagers and hold them just up here until we put them in the boats. And, um, and then, you know, off we go from there. Holy smokes. Just looking around me, making sure there's no one coming right for me. It's night time and all. And we are at the surface. Uh, oh, hey, villager. How's it going? All right, let's go ahead and whack this guy. Sorry, mate. Well, oh, fine. You, how about you stay over there? Just don't get in my way. Go ahead and expand this all the way around. Literally, I'm just going to expand it all the way around. Completely. Just so we got some space to work with, I think. All right, Bob's your uncle. I think that's absolutely perfect. Oh, I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to retest the bubble elevator now, which is unfortunate. Or else I'm gonna have to lay more kelp back down. That's no problem. It's not a big deal at the end of the day. So go back down, trigger the system. All right, trigger the system's triggered, and up we go. Ooh, who? Oh, oh. Did you guys notice something? Out. Oh, we might put just. Either that we've that 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 did have that one block affected the system, or we need more redstone in the in the clock because that there felt way too short, didn't it? Oh, I thought we got this last episode. We nailed the timing from last episode. So up we go. It shoots us up, up. No, just just. Uh, to be honest with you, I'll go ahead and add a couple more, mate. You are in big trouble. There is a, a drowned right up your bum, and yeah, he's not. Oh, sorry. I'm just. We'll just let no, Mother Nature take its course. <laughs> All right, let's go back down really quick and swap those timings over. I'm going to add the two redstone back. Yes, I've got redstone because that there is concerning. I want them to shoot out them. Quick, go, go, go! I want them to shoot out, not slowly, uh, not not slowly swim out. So. We'll wait for this to go on. Da, 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 da. Okay. Are they all back? Yes, so that's six, seven, eight. All right, so we've added two lots of redstone back. So that should be amples anyway. Put that block back. All right. Trigger system's gone. Woohoo! And. Oh, yeah, that's much better, and the bubble should turn off. Yeah, okay. All right. So I was being a bit tight with the timings, I think, uh, uh, from last episode. Uh, just just too, too, too tight there. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around. Oh, crikey. Did you notice? Wow. We're going to have to put torches on top of that. Did you notice the, the zombies falling off there? They're going to turn into drowns. And All right. Come here, mate. Where's my... Oh, did I put it away? Damn, my trident's away. I'll just shoot it at you. He's going to be a pain in my bum. Go away. And yeah, those two ones that fell to the bottom there. there. So the villager is definitely... Yep, the villager is definitely deader than a dead dingo's donger. Yep, he's gone. Okay, I kind of feel sorry for him. I might get yelled at for that. But hey, I think it's just... just let it take its course. Alright, let's go ahead and... 
Now wrap this completely around. We're making a like a small wall protecting them. So if we do send any to up here, nothing can get to them. And it's a nice big open area so we can fit a boat in, which is always a good thing. Okay, good stuff. So now we need to open one of the ends. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, facing that way is probably the best way to do it. There we go. Lovely. Uh oh. So that natural, that zombie that turned into a drown is now after me. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Come on. Hurry up. We don't have all day. Come on. And webby. Okay, good. All right. So obviously put some torches around. Boom, boom, and boom. And put some gates on it so, they, so nothing can get in here. And gate, gate, gate. And that, we should be able to put a boat down quite nicely. So now when the villagers do shoot to the surface and they're running around our little box here, we can put them in the boat nice and easy, open the gates, off we go. How easy was that? The problem is you will have to pick up your boat to get back in. Yeah, see, you're definitely going to have to pick up your boat to get back in. But that's not a problem. So grab a hood, grab your boat back. Just make sure you close up your gates. Here, Here's a good test here. We've got a nasty on the way but he should not affect us at all and we can go down and up this tube no problem so we we have like access out the yazoo uh, so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and put a boat here we're going to do a proper test run make sure this is actually going to work uh we're going to go out oh no we're not going to go out we don't need to go out we need just to go down the hole okay down we go Da, 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 da. Actually, we might need to add a ladder. If we're going to use this as a, like an up-down emergency maintenance access, like especially get up there. Flame and galah. Yeah. But for now, this is fine. Okay. Boom, boom. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to send... I need to send my least valuable. At the moment, I'm keeping all the trades for our emeralds at the moment. I'm going to need a stockpile of them. I've got tons of emeralds. Uh, I think maybe the armor smith should go. String. Too bad there wasn't a string freaking farm by here, close by here. We could farm the hell out of that. So let's go ahead and send this guy. All right. Off you go. All right. He's down there now. He should be getting shot to the surface. Yep. Did he get shot? So Does anyone know if he actually got shot to the surface? I don't know. Let's go ahead and find him. Oh, no, he was right there. What was he stuck on? Alright, bye mate. Alright, up he goes. Well, I think I was just being a little bit impatient. He was still floating down here or being stuck just here. I'm not sure. So, let's, let's join him. Looks like we're going to... I've seen the villager now. We're going to add some more timing to that as well. Up we go. Whoa! Okay, so we got our villager nice and easy in here. We just plomp him in the boat now. Get in the boat. Get in the... Just... Just... Okay, it's easy to push... Oh, I'm glitched. Oh, no, that's not good. It's easier to push the villager into the boat, apparently. Don't drive the boat into them. Mate, you're being a pain in the bum. Just seriously, i got to push him... Okay, maybe the boat's in the way. Beep, beep, beep. All right, come on, really? You're making me look silly here. I thought this was a perfect full like system that just was going to work. It's not working because you're against a bloody... You know what? Fine. I'll go around. I'll give you a push. There. See? See how easy that was? <sighs> and then we can just row him off into the sunset, which I don't really want him. That's fine. Woohoo. All right. You know what? We'll keep him in the boat. And we'll park him right here. There you go. So he might get taken out. He might not. I don't know. We'll let Mother Nature take care of it. Yes, I'm, I'm saying those nasty words. All right. And then we plump a new boat in here. Uh, right there we'll do. Okay, system actually works. A little bit harder to get inside the boat than I thought, but at the end of the day, it's going to work. And we could transport these guys anywhere to another iron farm if we want to build one. You know, it's much, much easier now to, to do this. Much easier to do this. But um, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. I cannot complain at all now. This is freaking awesome. We have a farm that just absolutely does everything. So down we go, and we'll have to fix that up later, but I don't know why he got stuck on. 
Yeah, I didn't. I, I think he, he didn't get stuck on. I think to be honest, he was he was bobbing up and down in this section, not getting him getting himself stuck in here, not allowing him into this section. So a fix for that it would be quite easy. A trap door of some sort right here just to block it off not allowing them not allowing them to jump there you go see problem solved problem solved um now we actually should start replacing let's go ahead and get those two villages up from downstairs real quick so call a minecart down that should replace that no problem is there some more iron or a trap door laying around that i can actually use right now like a, a just a trap door that i can go ahead and put on so you can't bounce up and down like a bloody fruit loop ah nuts you know what put more iron uh, i just had more iron i could throw that on ah flaming galak okay, that's not gonna go to plan but yes i'm going to put a trap door in there with a button probably it's the best bet Okay, we got one more villager in the storage shell. Let's go ahead and send him on over. Okay, what did he... What did we get replaced with? Hello, you are a toolsmith. Which obviously sells tools. Which I'm not too interested in. Um, okay. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't complete over here as well. So it just means I need to make some trap doors. Uh, yes. See, I didn't complete this area when it comes to trap doors as well. That's no problem. I still need to clean all this up. Uh, but yeah, we'll make this look pretty later. Actually, this is really dark. I'm a little bit worried. Let's torch that up for now. What are you? Oh, he's one of those freaking Fruit Loop villages that get, you get nothing off. Ah, crikey. Okay. Uh, one last thing. Let's get these water. Let's get this water running again, and let's take out that. That's bothering me as well. So to do that, we're gonna have to get some scaffolding here, and scaffold straight up. Oh, yep. It looks like there's gonna be a definitely a showcase video coming soon to this guy. I really love. I really, really loved enjoy. I enjoyed building. This one, definitely. It took longer than I thought. I must admit. There we go. Trains down. Okay, as long as we don't mess that water up now. Stay away from it. But we've got that going. And, whoop. Go ahead, plomp that. So that goes. Perfect. And come out this way. It should look a little bit different with this water running as well. One last one, which I'll get from... Ah, oh, screw it. I'll just keep going. And then I'll replace the middle bit. And... We should be able to reach that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the water now is up and going. It restored back to the way it was at the beginning. Go ahead and start taking this out. Yeah, we ended up mucking the water up. I remember we are building around and the water went over and the only way to do it was to block all the water off. And I thought to myself, I'm definitely turning those back on before, obviously, we uh, do any showcases or anything else like that. All right, here we come. All right, one last job, I think. And I'm going to turn the breeder back on. I'm going to sit here patiently gathering my villages up again. So up we come. Go ahead and come over here. This is what I wanted to replace. This here needs to be turned into glass. Straight up. Just glass. Actually, can I keep going or should I keep going? Actually, let's let's keep going. Boom, boom. Alright. And what we'll do break break is that one broken nope come down by one break uh oh that's gonna screw the water up i know it i've just just made another bloody mistake haven't i up 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 just let it come oh did i no i didn't lock that up all right take that up as high as we can actually no the gate is not on it actually do that Okay, go into the tube. Oh, 
Another stack of glass, and we are there. Bye-bye. Woo! -bye. That should be a nice soft landing for us, and we can go ahead and get out of here now. And the water has returned back to normal. Yep. Perfect. There. Now we have a glass tube up there. Let's go ahead and break our way out of here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, we need them to start breeding now. We need to fill all this up. We need to pretty this up a little bit more. Oh, it looks a lot better without the, the one block going up there. Maybe something going into the middle might do the trick. I love the water flow around. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's really, really, really looking good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode 294 of Minecraft Down Under. Don't forget to smash all those buttons, leave a comment below, share on your favorite social media. It'd be much appreciated, and I'll catch you all later. Oh,